Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you and show you how to tell if you have worn brake pads. In this simple video, I will be going over some simple things and some simple ways to tell if your brake pads are worn. Let's get right into the video. I'm actually going to hop into the car and I'm going to explain this in the car because if I'm outside of the car, I can't really speak too loudly. So I'm going to hop in here and I'll explain to you how to tell if you have worn brake pads. Okay. So there are essentially four things that you can do to figure out whether or not your brake pads are worn. Number one, and you're going to use your senses for these, obviously. So number one is your listening senses, your hearing senses, or your hearing sense, I should say. It's one of your senses. So you're going to listen for a squeaking or a squealing or even a screeching sound. It's going to sound like a squeal or a screech whenever you're pushing the brake pads. Whenever you're pushing the brake pedal, which controls the brake pads. Okay. Now, basically on your brake pads, there's going to be a wear indicator. And this wear indicator is just a tiny little piece of metal that causes a screeching sound to let you know that you should be changing your brake pads soon. So if you hear that screeching sound, it's a good sign. It's usually a sign that you need to change your brake pads soon. It could also be something caught in between the pad and the rotor. But you, if you know, I mean, you're going to use these other indicators as well to know if you have worn brake pads. Number two is using your sense of vision. So you want to do a visual inspection, okay? You want to look at the brake pad, and in most cases, you will be able to see the brake pad through the rim, through the rim, like just on the car. If not, you're going to have to remove the wheel from the car. So jack the car up safely, use jack stands, do everything you need to to make sure you're raising the car up safely, and then you can remove the wheel and take a look at the brake pad, okay? You want to do a visual inspection, and if there is less than a quarter of an inch of brake pad left, then you need to be replacing them in the very, very near future. That's sort of the lowest amount that you're going to want left before you replace them. Anything less than that, you're running the risk of metal on metal, which is very, very bad for your whole braking system. Number three is you want to feel in your foot for brake fade in the brake pedal. So basically when you're braking, when you first get new brakes, you know, you're like, whoa, you push the brakes, you're flying forward because they're so grippy. They're so strong. They're just biting. Okay. Um, but as they wear out, you get what's called brake fade. Okay. When you push the brake pedal, it sends uh, fluid to cause the brake pads to push up against the rotors. Now, when there's less brake pad left, you're going to have to push the pedal more to get that same braking effect. You're going to experience brake fade. Your brakes are just not going to work as well as they once did. If you notice that you're having trouble braking, definitely a sign to look at your brake pads. They might be worn out. Last but not least is number four, and hopefully you don't see this one because this is really bad if you see it. Um, and those are marks on your brake rotors from contact with some metal from the brake pad. So basically, like I said, when your brake pad runs out, you're going to get some metal on metal contact. You're going to hear some screeching sounds and they're going to mark up your rotors. So your, your rotors, which are those large circles that you see um, behind the rim of the car, behind the wheel, they're going to be all scratched up and marked up. If you notice that they're scratched up and marked up, definitely look into your brake pads, whether or not they need to be replaced, because there's a good chance that they're really worn down. You should be replacing them before they're marking up your rotors. But if you're already there, just replace them ASAP. And I would not recommend that you drive the car. If your brakes are that worn out where they're marking up the rotors, I would recommend that you do not drive the car. Do not drive the car. Just get them replaced like literally today or tomorrow as soon as possible. And that's it. That is how to tell if you have worn brake pads. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.